Okie dokie. So in this problem, we're talking about exponential functions versus power functions. It's very simple. Exponential is where we have uh, f of x or y equal to a raised to the x power, where a is a constant. So, for example, we could have y equals e to the x, very popular. y equals 3 to the x. y equals pi. Pi is a number to the x. How does it look like it's bleeding like that? There we go. Okay. So pi, e, 3, all numbers, all raised to the x. These are all exponential functions. Power functions are pretty much the opposite. So we have x raised to the power of a, where a is a constant still. So uh, x is the base. So a couple examples. y equals x to the e. y equals x to the fourth. y equals... Uh, x to the pi. So all of these have x as the base, but a constant or number as the exponent. So these are power functions. So we check out what we got going on over here. So f of x is pi to the second. Well, uh, the problem with that one is that there's no x's in the entire function. So anytime you see no x's, that's going to indicate that it's neither an exponential function nor a power function. So um, f is neither, so we can get rid of options b, c, uh, which both say there uh, that f is a power function. So then g is x to the e, so we have x as the base and a number e as the exponent. When x is the base, we have our power function. So g should be a power function, which a and D both say, so that's a little tricky, right? So we're looking at H now, which is X squared, which must also be a power function because we have X as the base and a number as the exponent. So H is also a power function. So A is looking pretty good, but D is not because they say it's neither. Um, so using our eraser, we find out that A is the correct answer.